great. <sighs> the new addition. Yeah, colors don't really go together, but hey, what's up? So I'm supposed to be filming my friend Dave today, and it is 11.30, which is the time I told him that we were going to be filming today. And he's not here, so I'm gonna film instead. So today we're gonna be talking about how to edit S-Log2 footage. Well, not really, the, the not the right way, but like kind of the way I do it. The last video that we did was of the Barber B-roll that we did, so we're going to jump back into that, and we're gonna take the raw footage that I shot in S-Log2, and we're going to color it the way I would. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro, and I'll show you what I do. All right, so we are in Final Cut. So what we're doing here, once again, there's Ben. I shot this in 60 frames a second, so we can slow it down. So what we do, let's see where we click that, go to automatic speed. It should go to 40%, so. This took two takes. So we're just gonna go back to that clip, so we'll go like that. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, we're gonna go with this clip right here. So the first thing I do is that I'm going to add everything that I would use. So that's gonna be the, the color curves, that color wheel, and the hue and saturations tab. So we're going to click our little color triangle here. Click color curves and click color wheels. Go to window, workspaces, color effects. I only use, I only like to use two windows. I know everyone really likes to use the vector scope, but I don't. So we're gonna use this Luma waveform here and we're gonna go to RGB Parade tab. So when you're using S-Log2, it shouldn't be um, touching this line. I didn't really expose correctly, but it's gonna be fine in this situation. So we're gonna go back to curves. I'm gonna add this little contrast S curve here. Doesn't do too much, but it's pretty noticeable. Then we're going to go to our color wheels. And he's pretty bright right here, and the overall looks all right. So we're gonna go to shadows, so we can go all the way down to zero, and that's gonna bring in, it's gonna crush the blacks a little bit, but bring in more detail around his face. Let's just drag that down just a bit. Probably go down a bit lower. So uh, before and after. So I'm not going to touch the saturation tabs right here. We're going to go to the hue and saturation curve and click hue versus saturation. Use your little eyedropper here. And I'm just I just want to bump up the reds and the blues because at Ross's Barbershop that's kind of the main theme, blue and red, which I really like. So we're just going to put the eyedropper on the red, it's going to just go to the red here. And I'm going to, because the skin tones are around this area right here, so I'm gonna save those. Play with, I don't really wanna play with the tones of the skin at all. So I'm gonna click right here, because I don't wanna adjust that. I just wanna adjust the red mask and some of the ambient lighting around him. So I'm just gonna boost that up just a bit. As you see, it's going to brighten up the reds in that. So go before and after. So now we're gonna do the blues as well. So it's gonna go over here to the brightest blue. That, and we're just gonna to touch that a bit. Or after. So we're almost done here, it doesn't take too much. What I'm going to do is go, I'm gonna press Command-0, get me back to this. I'm gonna put an adjustment layer. So what an adjustment layer does, whatever's below the adjustment layer is what's going to be affecting. So you can stack these, so whatever's above the adjustment layer will not be affected by that effect, but whatever's below it will be affected, kind of like an umbrella over everything. That over here, press N for snapping clips. Click there, and then type in the effects tab, LUT. We're going to add a LUT in here. So we're gonna click our adjustment layer here, see that there's a LUT there. That's way too much. So with LUTs, it's, you do not want to go all out because it just looks like trash, unless you're into this. No judgment. And so for him, we're actually going to bring it probably around 25%. Not too much of a difference, but still pretty noticeable. 
So play that back from the beginning. Cool. So we're gonna turn our LUT off and all our effects off. So we're gonna unclick all these. I'm gonna click them all one at a time so you can see what we did. So there's the color curve. So in the effects tab, we're just going to ignore color curve one color and color wheels one. I accidentally put them in there. So just pretend they're not there. So we're gonna click on color curves two and color wheels two. Once again, my bad. So here's the curve. There's uh, the color wheel, which is just the shadows that we played with. And here's to make all the colors pop. Add in that LUT again. Awesome. So that's how I edit the S-Log2 footage for this Barber B-Roll that we did. Hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you learned something. Uh, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because even my own father has not subscribed to me. But he did the Tracy, so I'm taking that personally. I really hope I didn't talk too fast on that one. I'm really working on it. I'm gonna turn off all the lights on that one. Also, big fan of these lights. These are on Amazon for $250 Canadian. Highly suggest picking them up. Fully waterproof, not sponsored. These are sick. Let's, ah. I like that color the best. It makes me happy. See ya.